Debo Samuel missed at least two games with a shoulder injury. It's so weird that this news came out on Saturday all week. I feel like they probably knew this all week, but waited till the Saturday to say it for their game Monday to miss this Monday's game and at least the next game versus, versus the Bengals. And they have a bye week, so he's most likely to come back after that bye as long as nothing lingers. Um, McCaffrey's still questionable. I still think Trent Williams is questionable. Obviously, they got a little banged up last week, but this sucks for the 49ers. They obviously need Debo. I think they're better with Debo. You know, Debo's not in a, I think Ayuk might be a better receiver than him, but an overall better football player. They're about the same. That They need each other both as much as they, you know. I think Ayuk benefits off having someone like Debo on the field, and obviously Debo benefits off Ayuk. So, that's the way it is with the Niners. I think it's like when everyone's on the field, that is better for IU, McCaffrey, D, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's easier for them. So, it doesn't mean that their stats are just going to explode, you know, just because, you know, like some other players, when you plug in players and shit, but in this 49ers, in this specific case, definitely not. Um, But, obviously, they're still going to be really good. I don't, I think they need him against the uh the Vikings. I think they can win without him, and then, I mean, I think they can win against, against the Bengals without him, but it's obviously tougher, and obviously, you'd rather have him, but it's better to let him get healthy for sure. Um, You know, Stinger. Um, and we'll see what happens, man. We'll see who plays, and obviously their game is on Monday, man, and I do have Brandon I can fantasy, so.